What's up YouTube fans? Today I want to take a look at the 3.0 MDLX Sideswipe. Thanks to Dr. Diecast for allowing me to take a look at his copy. I did order one for myself but it hasn't come in yet. So that will be coming from the Chosen Prime. And this guy looks really cool. We'll just take a quick look around. It does have a red paint with a black wash, silver paint over here on the lights. On the fog lights there, black paint there, a little bit gunmetal here on the joints. This kind of grayish paint with a black wash over that. Silver paint for the knees, silver paint for all those details. You can see the exhaust pipes. Really nicely detailed kind of throughout. It does say 3-0 Hasbro on the bottom. On the back, we have a tinted translucent window. That looks good. Overall, really, really nice sculpt all throughout. Even got that nice Lamborghini rear vents. And then the spoiler has become kind of a rear foot guard, which is interesting. He's got some pretty cool articulation. Let's go over that. The head is on a ball peg. So the head alone can go up and down. Can go side to side. And then you can rotate it. The neck is also on a ball peg, so you can get way up if you combine the two. Way down, side to side, and rotation, and you can rotate the neck if you want. So really nice movement. It's a really good looking head sculpt. You got the metallic blue eyes, gray for the face, black, and then silver for the side of the head. And the neck, it looks really good. For the shoulders, you have a ball joint, rotates all the way around. It's on a double ball peg, so you get the butterfly joint out of that, forward and backward. You get a lift on the outer butterfly or outer ball joint up to there. And then down here there's another hinge. So if you combine the two, you can get it up to there. And then you can put the shoulder pad kind of in position. It does drop down, but if you want it to be you know more cohesive, you can push it in. Rotation at the bicep, double jointed elbow gets you that full bend. Rotation at the wrist, we have a ab crunch here at the mid ab. If you come to the back, it does expose just like 3-0 normally does. You got a spine here with some painted detail. That all looks really good. You also have side to side on that same joint. So you can kind of combine the two together. It's very well done. We have a rotation. It's got to be a rotation. Yeah, there's a rotation. It's just tight. There's a little paint in there. So you might have to loosen it up. But there's a rotation there at the lower joint. Hip skirts, yet again, not perfect. Front hip skirts are fine. They, they seem to work okay without popping off. Legs go up to there. If you drop it down on the double ball peg hinge, you can get it up higher. The back, these hip skirts are not well done, honestly. And, and they fall off easily. I just can't believe after all of these figures, they haven't figured out the, the hip skirts. But back to there, you can get a really big crush thrust if you want. Anyway, out to the side, again, this hip skirt, I don't love the way they did it, but it does work. The joint works. It's just the hip skirt is very irritating. Rotation at the thigh around a universal. All the tolerances are, are well done, by the way. Double jointed knee with a cover down piece, and it does collapse into the back. Really good looking knee joint there. We have... The legs are on a ball joint, so you have ankle tilt, pivot forward and backward, toe tilt, and then you have a rotation on that joint. So plenty of movement on this. It is a double ball peg, so you can really extend it forward or backward on that double ball peg. On the back, like I mentioned, you have a cover down heel piece here. All right now, let's take a look at his, his accessories. And we get quite a few pieces here, but first I wanted to mention 
These side arm pieces are on ball joints, so you can't articulate those. You can also pop it off the ball joint carefully. It's a gold ball joint, so if you prefer the look without it, you can do that. Personally, I, I like to leave it on, but just wanted to mention you can remove that. So we do get alternate hands. You can pop the hands off the ball joints, and they can be a little tricky to get them on. You kind of have to wiggle them on, and then you can get it centered after that. But you have these open hands, which I don't know. I, I'm not a big fan of the way these hands look. They just look a little spindly. We get a gripping hand, so you can hold some weapons. And I think that one looks pretty good. And then we get some pile drivers, which is appropriate for this character. So you get this wedge style. You can pop this off. And this one was a little tricky to get on there the first time. Now it goes on, but that looks really nice. Good looking weapon there. Or if you prefer, you can have the square style. And like I mentioned, the first time you do it, first few times, it's a little bit tight. So you gotta just get that receiving point worked together. But now you have those two, which is pretty cool. Well, we get more. So we get, we'll put his gripping hand back on. We get his shoulder cannon done in this silver and gunmetal color. Scope is a different color, that's kind of neat. And to put this on, you have to remove either one of these shoulder pieces. So you can see there's the one removed, there's it still in there. I'm not sure I love that, just because this piece looks like it's easy to lose, so I just put it back in the box. But This will plug in where you took that out. And now you can angle this up. It's got a hinge there in the middle. It does look good. I just, I'm not a huge fan of having to take out a piece of plastic. Obviously you can do it either side. To me, that's the right side for him, so I'm going to put it there. And we also get his blaster. Also done in gunmetal. Nice sculpt on it as well. And that will fit in his hand. And there you go. He's fully armed up. He's got three weapons right now. And I think this is how I would display him. But... Really, really cool. And for a quick size comparison, there it is next to the rest of the MDLX Autobots, with exception to Bum uh, the repaint of Bumblebee Cliff Jumper. I didn't get him. And they look really good together. I like the size overall, how he fits in. He's bigger than Bumblebee, smaller than Optimus. So nice Carbot size. And yeah, this is shaping up to be a really nice overall collection and aesthetic together. So final recommendations on the 3.0 MDLX Sideswipe. I really like this thing. I'm going to give this a 4 to 5. I'm going to recommend it. It is so close to a 5 out of 5, but I, I'm not going to give it to them just because they still haven't figured out this stupid hip skirt. But minor complaint overall, I really like how he looks. Love the posability. Accessories are awesome. They, they gave you everything you need. You don't really need anything else. It's everything I want from this character. Posability is amazing. Really, really nice job. Yeah, I mean, really the only complaint, like I mentioned, is the design of this rear hip skirt. I, I really wish they could just figure that out. Uh, but yeah, I definitely recommend it. If you're collecting these MD Lex figures, this is definitely one to have. And uh, it fits in perfectly with the rest of the collection. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.